So the next set of question that I have usually seen uh, nowadays in the interviews is to explain different flavors of DevOps like DevSecOps. So if the question is what is DevSecOps, you don't explain DevOps. You have to bring, you have to show the confidence and say that, or you, you have to assume that the company has good maturity in the DevOps space. So how do you phrase the uh, responses that it's an extension to the DevOps process? Don't explain what DevOps is and all that. Uh, it's an extension to the DevOps process where a lot of emphasis emphasize uh, on uh, the security aspects of the software development. So bring. Uh, uh, mention that, you know, integrating. Security tools in the DevOps pipelines upfront. Uh, helps in achieving a good DevSecOps uh, pipeline or DevSecOps principles. Explain to them that you have seen security getting less attention. And uh, because of that, the security process usually starts very late in the application development uh, cycle. So when application is ready uh, to be shipped or just before user acceptance testing, the application would be uh, pen tested or security tested. So in order to start your testing process a bit early, you need specific tools to uh, scan the application code, uh, static analysis, dynamic analysis. Uh, you're scanning the container images as and when they are built, uh, those kind of processes early. And not only stopping there, like if you have a repository of your Docker images, uh, you don't scan them just uh, when you build them or you try to release them. There could be uh, vulnerabilities found in those Docker images down the line when when those are discovered when it's just like a antivirus software, right? You, you may not have any uh, issues on your laptop or desktop today, but as and when the antivirus softwares, they, they mature, they may found some issues in the existing application softwares that you have installed. So same process do uh, read about some of these products because the next next set of questions are going to be which products uh, will enable this kind of uh, uh, shift left in the security? How will you move uh, testing early in the uh, DevSecOps pipelines? So study about tools like Sneak, uh, Veracode, uh, Checkmarks. Uh, most of them are like uh, they will offer you a free account or 30 days free trial without any payment or anything like that. Do ex explore those products, create your uh, free account there. Check out what kind of features they offer, how they can integrate in the pipeline. Uh, do they have some plugins where they can be installed on the developer machine? So they, they start getting feedback on day one itself. So when they are developing the software. So um, look, look for things like if using those softwares, bring any sort of compliance in the process, uh, any any. Uh, GDPR compliance or any HIPAA compliance. So are, the, are, are these softwares capable of uh, uh, just static analysis or dynamic analysis? Uh, do they also have scans available for some Docker images that are in your, in your repository? So explain all these areas when you are trying to explain DevSecOps because the question or the intention over there are to understand your security side of the automation. Bring uh, not not just your Jenkins pipeline or uh, those kind of uh, stuff. So so shift your gears towards security. Focus on that. Understand the intent and then respond accordingly.